Hi guys, today we are going to see data compression using Huffman coding algorithm. The Huffman coding algorithm was invented by David Huffman in 1952. The Huffman is particular type of optimal prefix code that is commonly used for lossless data compression. The thumb rule for the Huffman coding algorithm is lesser the frequency, the greater the number of bits to represent the character. Greater the frequency, lesser the number of bits to represent the character. We will see how this rule gets implemented in the Huffman coding algorithm. In this example, we are going to compress the word abracadabra. The word abracadabra has 11 characters. If it takes 8 bits to denote each character, it will be taking 88 bits to encode abracadabra. Now we will compress this abracadabra using Huffman coding and we will see how much bits we can able to reduce. First we need to count the frequency of each character in the given word. So we will take this word abracadabra and then first we will calculate the frequency of each character a1, b1, r1, a which is already 1. So it is 1 plus 1. C1 a which is already 2 we include plus 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 d 1 and a which is already 3 now we include plus 1 b which is already 1 now we include 1 so it will be 1 plus 1 now r which is already 1 we will take 1 plus 1 a which is already 4 we will take plus 1 which will be 5 now we will get the total number of each character which will be A5, B2, R2, C1 and D1. We will count this 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 which will be 11. So we count it correctly. Now let's see how to compress data using Huffman coding. First rule is take the two characters which has the lowest frequency. In our case, we have C with frequency 1 and then D with frequency 1. So we will take C and D. So we will strike it off because we are taking it out. Now we will create a relief root node with C1 and D1. The value of the root node is sum of the frequency of both nodes. That is the sum of the frequency of C1 and D1 which will be 2. Now we will check for the next lesser frequent character which is R. And we will take the next lesser frequent character which is B. Now we will form a root node. Its value will be the sum of this B and R frequency which will be 2 plus 2 which will be 4. And we will take the next lesser frequent character. The next lower frequency is 5. So by comparing this 4 can be joined with 2 because 4 and 5 are big when compared to 4 and 2. So we will merge. 4 and 2 which will be 6 because B and R as a frequency 4 C and D as the frequency 2 so when combining all this we will get the frequency 6 now we will combine A's frequency and B or C D which frequency is 6 we will combine both this the total frequency is 11 always the root node should match the number of characters in the word so our case the root node value is 11 which is exactly matching with the number of characters 11. After that we need to mention 0 to the left hand side and 1 to the right hand side. That is 0 to the left hand side of the tree and 1 to the right hand side of the tree. We need to point all the edges like this. That is, that is left branch is 0 and right branch is 1. Now we have computed the tree. Now we need to find code for each and every character. For A, it is 0 because it has only 0 here and for B, it is 1, 0, 0 and for R, it is 1, 0, 1 and for C, it is 1, 1, 0 and for D, it is 1, 1, 1. As we said earlier, the thumb rule, the higher the frequency, the lesser the number of bits to represent the character. In this case, A, which is higher frequency, it takes only one bit to represent. 
D and all other characters which has comparatively lesser frequency, it takes longer bits to represent. Now we will compress the abracadabra with the code which we have found. So we wrote abracadabra, now replace all the A with the 0. Next we will take B, now replace all the B with 100. Zero, zero. Then replace all the R with 101. Next, replace all the C with 110. Next, replace D with 111. This is the compressed code which represents abracadabra. Now we will count the number of bits in the compressed code, which will be 23. So we found that if we compress with the regular methodology, it takes 8 bits to denote each and every character, which will be 88 bits. By half one coding, we have computed that it takes only 23 bits. So, 23 divided by 88, which will be 26 percentage. We have reduced the code. Now, the compression percentage is 26 percentage. So, by this way, we can able to compress using half one coding algorithm. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, please subscribe this channel.